Hey everyone, I'm Wheels, and I've decided to create my own top 25 college football rankings. This will be based on my own thoughts from what I've seen across the games that have been played so far. At 25 is Liberty. The Flames are 9-0 this season, and while they don't have any overly impressive wins this season, being undefeated through 9 games does hold meaning. North Carolina comes in at 24. They had put themselves into the college football playoff discussion with a 6-0 start, but losses to Virginia and Georgia Tech have slowed the hype around the Tar Heels. Next up is James Madison. Similar to Liberty, they don't have the most impressive resume, but once again, it does mean something to be 9-0. Tulane comes in at number 22. It has been a very solid season for the Green Wave, whose only blemish was an early season loss to Ole Miss. Number 21 is Arizona. Once an afterthought at 3-3, three three, the Wildcats have strung together three consecutive wins against teams that at the time had been ranked in the AP Top 25. Notre Dame cracks the Top 20 despite a tough road loss to unranked Clemson. A strong schedule along with solid wins over Duke and USC are enough to keep the Fighting Irish afloat. Next up is another three-loss team in the LSU Tigers. Considering that all of their losses came away from home against teams I'll have ranked in the top 10, it would be impossible to not have LSU ranked somewhere in the top 25. The Oklahoma Sooners are ranked at number 18. Just two weeks ago, they were in the driver's seat for a college football playoff berth, but losses at Kansas and Oklahoma State have now taken them out of position to even be in the Big 12 championship game. Kansas leaps over Oklahoma at number 17. It's been a great season for the Jayhawks so far, and the head-to-head -head win over the Sooners is enough to pass them by one spot in my rankings. At number 16 is the Tennessee Volunteers. While the Vols have looked really good at times this year, they lack that really impressive win that you'd want to have on a resume. They'll have a couple of chances to change that with games against Missouri and Georgia coming up. Speaking of Missouri, they come in at number 15. I think the Tigers have opened a lot of eyes this year by playing some really good football, which has earned them a spot in the top 15. Number 14 is Oklahoma State. Although they have a couple of disappointing losses from early on in the season, the Cowboys have put themselves in a really good spot in the Big 12 standings with wins against both Kansas and Oklahoma. Also, can we please continue the Bedlam rivalry when the Sooners are in the SEC? It would be a shame if this tradition comes to an end. We'll head out west for the next couple of teams, with Utah sliding in at number 13. The Pac-12 conference as a whole has looked really good this year, and wins against USC, UCLA, and Florida help bolster the Utes resume. Next up is Oregon State. It's hard not to think about where the Beavers would be if not for three-point losses to both Washington State and Arizona, but nonetheless, they've put together a really good season. We'll take a look back at the teams that I've ranked at 12 through 25, entering week 11 of the 2023 college football season. The final 11 teams I have ranked, in my opinion, all still have a chance to make the college football playoff. First up is Louisville. At 8-1, the Cardinals have had a great season. However, losing to Pittsburgh is a tough blemish to have on a resume for a team with playoff hopes. They'll need to win out to have a chance, which would include taking down an undefeated Florida State in the ACC championship game. Even if all that were to happen, I still think they would need additional help if they want to make the playoff. Coming in at number 10 is Penn State. It's officially go time for the Nittany Lions. Aside from a road loss to Ohio State, they have played incredibly well this season. If they can beat Michigan this weekend and luck out with tiebreakers at the end of the season to reach and ultimately win the Big Ten Championship game, we could see Penn State sneak into the college football playoff. There's just something about teams from Pennsylvania that gives them an edge when it comes to sneaking into the playoffs after everybody had already written you off. Ole Miss is ranked at number 9, and yes, they can still reach the college football playoff. It would take utter chaos for them to get there, as they'd have to beat Georgia on the road and get additional help along the way, but it is football and anything can happen. Don't let the Rebs get hot. At number 8 is the Alabama Crimson Tide. After they lost at home to Texas early in the year, it seemed like this might be another subpar season for the Tide, but 14-point wins over Ole Miss, Tennessee, and LSU have solidified them as a true playoff contender. If they can win their final three games and take down Georgia in the SEC Championship, they'll be back in the college football playoff. Lucky number seven is the Texas Longhorns. While they come in ahead of Alabama, their playoff hopes aren't as simple as just win the rest of your games, because with Oklahoma dropping their previous two, a Big 12 championship may not hold as much weight as it seemed like it would a couple of weeks ago. I think a hypothetical 12-1 Texas team that has a conference championship on their resume is certainly deserving of a playoff spot, but they might need a little bit of additional help if they want to get there by season's end. The Oregon Ducks come in at number 6 in the rankings. They have looked incredible this year, and have the best point differential in the Pac-12 
by a wide margin. Their offense has looked unstoppable, and they're the only team within the conference to allow fewer than 100 points in conference games. They have earned their spot as the highest ranked one loss team, but nonetheless they do have that one blemish against Washington, which is why they're still on the outside looking in. Winning out will certainly put them in a great spot to make the playoff, because that would likely mean winning a rematch with Washington in the Pac-12 championship. Looking back, I wonder if they wish they would have taken the points against Washington instead of turning the ball over on downs multiple times when inside the 10. We're left with five undefeated teams, and I've decided to rank Florida State currently on the outside looking in. With that said, it's a straight path forward to the playoff for the Seminoles. Win your final three regular season games, as well as the ACC championship, and you'll be in. With Ohio State and Michigan playing each other in a few weeks, one of them will inevitably fall behind an undefeated Florida State team. However, one loss along the way could be enough to keep them out of the playoff. Washington slides into number four, as I have them slightly ahead of Florida State right now. I think the Pac-12 has been a tougher conference than the ACC this year, and a win against number six Oregon is more impressive than any team the Seminoles have defeated this year. They have a daunting schedule ahead though, as they'll have to face both Utah and Oregon State in the next two weeks, and will probably see Oregon again in the Pac-12 championship. The path is there for them to make the playoff, but it won't be easy. At number three is the Michigan Wolverines. As far as the path to the playoff, it's the same as Ohio State. Win out. It feels like that game between Ohio State and Michigan in a few weeks is essentially a play-in for the playoff. But there's a lot that can happen over the next few weeks. There's a chance that both Ohio State and Michigan make it like last year, but there's also a scenario where Penn State shocks everyone and makes it over both of them. We can talk about this all we want, but at the end of the day, it'll all come down to what happens on the field. I'm going to rank Georgia at number two. It's incredibly difficult to decide between these undefeated teams at the top of the rankings, but as it stands right now, I think Ohio State has a slightly better resume than the Bulldogs. I actually think that Georgia is the best team in the country right now, but in terms of current resume, the Buckeyes are slightly ahead, which is why I have them ranked at number one. As things stand right now, Ohio State has two wins against teams ranked in the top 25, including one against the top 10, while Georgia only has one ranked win. Looking ahead, with multiple ranked matchups coming in the next two weeks, Georgia will have their opportunity to jump up to number one. Ohio State is ranked at the top right now, but the season doesn't end today, so there will be opportunities for other teams to earn the top spot. Overall, this is where I have things ranked right now. Keep in mind that these are my rankings, not the official ones put out by the committee. I thought it would be a fun idea to rank the teams based on my own thoughts, and just talk a little bit about each of them for a video. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, let me know down in the comments with your thoughts. I always like to receive feedback from the viewers so that I can make even better videos for you in the future. Thanks for watching everyone.